Hello, Paul Winston here. In this video, we're going to talk about a, a harmonic concept called mirror harmony. This is a theoretical concept, so you can imagine like wearing a VR headset for a game. This is one game we can play to find chords. It's not the only architecture of thinking to generate these chords, but it is an interesting way that might intuit some inspiration and inspire you uh, to create new different kind of chord progressions and new harmony. Uh, so the Mirror Harmony, I do discuss in the new edition of this book by Ernst Lever. This is the book that uh, stimulated so many people talking about negative harmony. And I've written a new introduction that goes with this book. And in that book, I do talk about uh, Mirror Harmony because uh, uh, key to Levy's work is this uh, reflection of chords across an axis point. But in this video, I want to talk about Mirror Harmony. So we're going to look at a major chord and flip it over the root of the chord and then see what chord we find. We'll do that with a minor chord, then we'll do it with a few other tri triadic combinations, including maybe the major seven chord as well, and see what kind of chords we find. And then maybe towards the end of the video, I'll talk about a quartal chord voicing. And then finally, we'll take a big chord, which will be too big for my hand, but it, we can see what happens when we mirror movements of notes within the hands. So without further ado, let's have a look at that now. Okay, so first let's look at the major chord. Let's talk about it from this perspective, although you could talk about it from other, other places, but let's talk about it as a major third and a minor third, and let's mirror, reflect that chord backwards. So we've got a major third and a minor third. So we'd have a major third and a minor third. So we find F minor. Yeah, it's a, it's a minor four chord, but this is just another, like I said in the introduction, just another VR headset, another way of finding chords. So all theories are valid if you find something new that you uh, you can swim in and explore harmonically. So there you go. Major triad, major third, minor third. Consequently, of course, a minor triad would produce a major triad. I mean, it, it is really interesting to see that. Let's go through a, a few more. So for example, this inversion here of an A-flat triad, that reveals to us this. This inversion of an F triad, if I mirror the same intervals across that fourth and that third, reveals that. Isn't that interesting? And there could be chords that then you use in your progressions like the C to F minor, C, F minor. Interestingly, something like a, a major seven if we think major third, minor third, major third, we end up with a D flat major. That's quite a nice sound anyway, look. D flat major, so I've gone C major to D flat major seven. Let's make it C major seven. D flat major seven. There we go like that. If I do a minor seven chord, minor third, major third, minor third. So I'm gonna have to go back down with this minor third, major third, minor third, and we find D minor. And one more chord in this structure. What, a, what do we get if we get a quartal chord? Quite interesting, if we take the fourth and the fourth, well, we find another quartal chord. Okay, so there's a lot of things you could explore and try. Now let's try and pick a triad. And I'm going to move that up a tone, means I'm going to reflect that mirror image of it down in the bass. I can't quite reach it, I don't have a big enough hand, but if you were writing this for strings, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? If that went up a semitone, that would go down a semitone. Interesting harmony. So there you go, it's an interesting world to swim in uh, and find some new kind of chords. So I hope, as my teacher always used to say to me, you know, teaching isn't telling. Um, we live in a world of very didactic teaching these days. This is just, I'm pointing you towards something that I hope will be inspirational and that you can go and swim in that world. Anyway, subscribe for more videos like this uh, and bye for now.